Well, it's been a long time coming, but we're finally facing the final boss. Hey guys, welcome back to Donkey Kong Country Returns. I'm Mr. Viper Fang, and last time we finished off the last of the uh, World 8 levels, except for, well, the Kong level and 8 boss. But for now, we're going to go on ahead and take care of the final boss, and then after this, we'll, we'll start tackling the Kong levels, I suppose. Alright, so no Diddy yet. Oh, this is why. We get a nice little uh, pan up of the path we need to take to get up to the final boss. This giant ass tiki thing at the top of the volcano. Oh, there's Diddy. Alright. Come, Diddy. Let us change the fate of this island. Well, we're not going to do it like that. And they're nice of a and they're nice enough to skip the cutscene if we die before getting up there. To be fair, you can actually uh farm lives, believe it or not, during this little section because there's a giant section with a bunch of bananas and a one up like right here. Just make sure you avoid everything and then just kill yourself at the uh, last obstacle and then restart and keep doing that. And boom, extra lives. And you're probably going to need those extra lives for the final boss. Hi, hi. Alright, so... Yay, got it. Oh, crap. But I don't think I'm going to need all those extra lives. Well, never mind. I'm gonna keep doing this and then I'll probably meet you guys at the top. Okay, so we're back. The trick really, really only works if you get the one up along with all a bunch of the uh, bananas. But I digress. all of our bananas. Oh, hi. No hard feelings for kicking your asses, right? Oh. You're big. Yeah, I'm convinced the bananas that grow on Donkey Kong Island have some sort of special properties. Either that or these tiki's respond to potassium very well. Rather react, not respond. Oh. Remember kids, eat your bananas because if you don't, these guys will and that's a bad thing. So you're doing you're doing everybody a favor if you eat the bananas. All right, final boss time. They have some uh, they have a few patterns in, during phase one. I have to hit, I have to hit, bam! I cannot speak. I have to hit each hand two times in order to do phase two. And after you hit eat the hands uh, twice, no matter which hand it is, uh, he'll yell and then change up uh, one of his patterns a little bit. There we go. And if you jump low enough, but not too low for the hand to grab you, you can actually get that heart. It's actually to lure you into landing on the hand so he can uh, crunch you into a tiny uh, Kong ball. Oh, he faked me out. And it didn't work, because I still destroyed his hand. 
And now I have to hit that red button on top of the floating tiki head three times. And this is a lot easier if you have Diddy Kong with you. So if you die, it's a disadvantage. Okay. Oh, good. There we go. All right. One more hit, and then we're completely done with the main story. Oh boy, this section. You cannot grab those hearts until they're uh, no longer on fire, or else you will take damage and basically cancel out the uh, heart. Oh wow, first try. All right, enjoy the ending, guys. And that is pretty much the bulk of Donkey Kong Country Returns. But unfortunately, this is not the end for us yet. We still have the Kong levels to go through. But they'll be covered in the next four to five parts. So I think I'll let the credits play out. And I'll join you guys next time when I start with the uh, World 1's Kong level. And then we'll work our way from there. Enjoy the ending, and see you guys later. Thank you.